Hello. I just thought I'd give you a quick video uh, as an update on the uh, pond bog that we were uh, remaking. Uh, we decided to order a brand new pump for it, a brand new 1300 gallon per hour Laguna pump and we were going to replace the 1100 gallon per hour pump that's in there now and use that as a backup. At least that's what I thought I was going to do until I plugged this thing in. Unfortunately, it's been somewhat of a disappointment. The uh, s pump puts out nowhere near uh, the amount of flow that the old pump, my old 1100 gallon pump does. Uh, I can see how they achieve their power savings and that's by underpowering the pump. Uh, if you don't, you might get 1100 gallons per hour out of it at a one foot head if you uh, don't have any resistance to it at all, but this is not the pump for you if you are looking for something that has any kind of resistance to the flow. Uh, an another problem with this thing is, is this tube. The tube has no attachments to go into a, a another piece of tubing to take it over to the, to the waterfall. Uh, it comes with these but they're all too large to fit on there. It's only meant to work with this diverter valve. And yeah, you can put the diverter valve on and then you can put this on the diverter valve and then hook it into your tubing. But then you've got this to deal with. And unfortunately, even if you turn this thing all the way off, it's not off. The fountain continues to run, which means you got leakage here, which means you're, just, you're not pumping full capacity out of this one that you possibly could because you got the leakage. Uh, it does come with a number of attachments for the fountain and such but uh, if you want it for a, a waterfall pretty well it doesn't matter. Uh, one thing, couple things I do like about it is it's got a handle, it's got a great shape and this cage that's over top it is nice also because it keeps all kinds of manner of stuff off the pump. Uh, I did contact the company that sold it to me and they told me that this was only for fountains. Well if this is only for fountains then I probably think that Laguna should not have put the word waterfall pump kit on the side of the box. Just my opinion. Uh, it's it's a fine pump otherwise, it, but I would suggest if you're looking for a good waterfall pump, this is not it. Buy something with a magnetic drive or something else. Uh, or if you feel like you really want one of these, you're going to have to increase the size of the pump to get what you want. So instead of a 1300, you're going to have to go to the 2000 to get the oomph out of it to power whatever you're going to power. Uh, We'll give you some further updates if anything changes. Uh, I did talk to the to the people that sold it to me, and they told me that I could send it back, but that would cost me because I put it in the water and tested it. They're going to charge me a 20% restocking fee, plus the money they spent to send it to me. And then I'm going to have to spend money to send it back. So this thing's going to cost me between $50 and $60 to send back a $139 pump. So I'm not sure if that's worth it. I might just keep it around here as a backup. Uh, so if you're going to buy it, make sure you uh, think about it carefully. Because you may not end up with something that will be too expensive to send back. Have a great rest of the week, and we'll talk to you later.